Winter Hardy Hibiscus breeding program was initiated at the Texas AgriLife Research and Extension Center at Vernon in 2009. So this will be the fifth year. Uh, we were extremely successful with releasing over or disclosing over 130 totally unique lines of uh, hibiscuses with uh, uh, very unusual flower color, flower shape, uh, leaf color too, uh, that are not available yet on the market. So uh, we have right now about 50 or 60 of them, almost half of them, uh, in evaluation by uh, commercial partners in the United States and in Europe. And we believe that uh, in about probably already next year, in 2015, the first five of, uh, of our lines should be sold in the United States. And in 2016 and 17, there will be more in the United States and in Europe uh, sold by, the, by our commercial partners. Once we identify a plant that have commercial, has commercial values, for example, very nice flowers or very uh, new color of the flower, uh, we need to propagate the plant uh, in order to have enough uh, copies uh, to give to our commercial partners for evaluation. We used to uh, propagate them in cooperation with our uh, partners from the University of Nebraska through tissue cultures, but this process was too expensive and uh, not really very successful. So uh, we uh, experimented a little bit last year and this year we have a very high success about 99% of uh, rooted cuttings. Uh, we manipulate the rooting hormones and uh, we also have misting system. It has, the plants have, the, the cuttings have to be missed every certain uh, time per hour. And uh, in this case, everything goes very good. We start with little tips of the stems, uh, about uh, three inches uh, or less uh, long. And we plant them in a, a mixture of perlite and uh, peat moss and uh, in about for uh, two weeks or so the plants will root and uh, you can see they have roots at the bottom of the pots and start growing and we keep them for another two weeks or so under the misting system to make them stronger and after that uh, we move them out of the system. After we move the plants from uh, the misting system uh, we let them grow for about another two weeks uh, to harden them a little bit and they will grow very quickly after that. If you can see, they will also have already flower buds and at this stage uh, we will take them out of the six packs and plant them individually in pots and uh, start growing them as a copies for our commercial partners. In our greenhouse we keep copies of the best plants uh, that are growing also in the field and I use them to uh, make new hybrids for next year uh, evaluation. The advantage of this is here there are no insects and uh, there is no any cross-pollination that could always happen. So we can precisely uh, define which plants will be crossed. We were the first one to create a blue flowering winter hardy hibiscus and we still are working on improving this uh, line. The flowers of the blue one are relatively small. This is how they look like. Uh, they have different shades now, we have different lines with more and less blue, but uh, the flowers are still small and uh, we are working very hard to uh, increase the size of the flowers and this year we have one line that has flowers about six inches in diameter and they are very nicely blue. So we hope that this line will uh, be a base of creating even larger uh, blue flowers. Other examples of uh, colors we work with uh, are, we work also on the size of the flowers. We want to have flowers that are about at least 12 inches in diameter and then uh, different unusual colors. This is an example of a magenta. This is very rare in hibiscus too, as well as uh, dual color flowers like in this case white uh, and pink. And uh, maybe sometimes we'll try to in add to this also the blue. Uh, another combination of dual color flower, when the edges are only white, the rest is pink, uh, and it's pretty good size. And uh, we also have a mutation that has a white eye, this is very rare in hibiscus. Normally they have brown or red eyes, and we try to transfer this white eye trait to a red flower of hibiscus, which is not easy, as it looks like. Uh, 
as long as the flowers are magenta or pink, we always have the white eye. But if, they, if we cross them with red flowers and they will go into the red color, the eye disappears. So it's not so easy to transfer the white eye into a red uh, flowering plant. But we work on this and uh, hopefully, maybe this or next season, we'll have a red, blooming, red flower with white eye.